man, this is live. Anything can happen. 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 And what if you fuck up? Man, this is live. Anything can happen. I'd be pissed scared I'd get a boner or fucking fart or something. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Shut the fuck up, man. You're making me nervous. Not only did Tim Burr Vlogs make it on time, I made it on time. We're starting 701. You know, take a little time off for the intro there. But we're here. We're live. And if you didn't join us on the uh, 11 o'clock show, then uh, you might not know that we've got video clips this time. I'm not going to be able to play Long Hair Lover from Liverpool, though, because I did about a three-second clip of that, and I got my ass taken off of that. But we might sneak it in. Who knows? But we got a lot. You send a super chat, and you will get a random, random video. Not just a sound clip. You'll get a random one, like this one right here. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And I know everybody wants to hear that right there. So, it's Monday. It's 7 o'clock. So, what does that mean? We're talking Star Wars. Now, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, we're going to talk Power of the Force. And I had the video all set, and I was going to watch the video, and I had this thing written all out. That I was going to read while we watched the video to give you a little information. And then I closed it and didn't save it. <sighs> That's it. Uh, so, I'm going to still play that video and try to remember what all I wrote down. So, if I get some of the facts wrong, sorry. But we're going to look at the power of the force and talk power of the force. Because 1995 was a banner year for Star Wars. Of course, it was a dying year. For, no, not power of the force 2. Who said that? Why? Power of the Force 2, get out of here. Uh, but we did talk 90s on Star Wars Mondays a couple weeks back. So we have talked about it. Who's in the chat room today? We got Odd. We got Casting Shadows. We got Tens Vlog. We got Jedi Romovan. I can never say that last name. Did, uh, we got... Did the on-the-screen chat get fixed? It should be showing up. Let's see. Good question. I don't think I turned it on. We'll turn it on and see. We'll turn it on. That's right. We got uh, alerts now when you... Say something, it should come up in this little box right here. So let's see if it does come up. We'll see. I don't know why it's not coming up. It says it should come up. It says it's turned on, but we'll see. We got Joe here. We got Connor here. We got Matt Dino is in the house. We got Rick. We got Richard. We got Rick and Richard. How about that? We got 35 people in the in here. We got Joe. We got Casting. There it is right there. Still cutting off some stuff. So let me see if I can fix that really quick here. Wrong button. There we go. There we go. Then you all can see the chat. Although you're in the chat room, you probably can see the chat anyway. And then when you do a sewer chat, it appears over here and you get yourself a sound clip and a video clip. It's going to be so much fun, man. It's wacky fun. You never know what you're going to get. I need to start looking at the camera more. I'm not looking over here. I need a monitor next to the camera is what I need. But we got a lot of people. We're cranking it out today. And the power of the force. Oh, we've got something new for the super chatters. What is this? Junk man, what is this? What is it? When you send a super chat, you will find out. I'm going to put it right here, right under the microphone. If you send a super chat, it can be $1, two, well, $1. You know, YouTube takes 30% of it, so I ain't trying to say one ain't nice, but YouTube, come on, 30%? That's just crazy. But when you send in a super chat, you will get, well, you won't get this, but you'll get what this does. I'm going to push the button. And not until we get a super chat. If we even get one, we might not get one. And you might not, you might be saying, what does that do? Well, you'll never know. 
Okay, okay. I saw a question here. I wanted to ask somebody. Oh, somebody said, Kevin said the Star Blazers video was great. Thank you. I wasn't sure how that would do. I wasn't sure how many people cared about Star Blazers, but I know a lot of you that come to my channel probably grew up on it also. And I was amazed the figures. I remember seeing them in the 90s, and I kind of just forgot all about them. Just somebody remembered. Uh, somebody reminded me of them. I was like, yeah. So then I had to go dig and de research and look at them and everything. I feel funny not wearing a t-shirt. This is one of the few times I don't wear a t-shirt here. Uh, Glary Glitter Rules says Donkey Donkey Valley Ghost. Good name. Oh, we got a super chat. Brian's always there. He's just trying to give me something hard to say. Agalan the Gorilla Garnier Garlian Griswold. I don't know. I don't know. I said it wrong, I'm sure. But we, we're not going to. We're going to give him. Should we give him this or should we wait? Should I wait for it? Maybe I should say this for super chats. Maybe like 20 bucks. No, no, no. Are you ready? Here goes. Just give him one more. In fact, he also is going to get yourself. Uh, I'm not sure if you were here in the morning, but you, maybe you missed it. But we're going to see which one. I'll give him this one right here. Here goes. This video. Super Chat videos just for Brian. Okay, Junk Band, I know you're still watching. Hear it from me to you. Fuck off. Okay? You're not welcome here. Now, Bradley has sent a Super Chat, guys. That means a lot to me. Real Hopes the channel makes me keep doing this and everything. But uh, we will talk Star Wars in just a second. Again, we're going to get in. I'll get to you in a minute, Brian. Uh, Bradley, I see Bradley Good sent a super chat. I'll get to you in just a second, Bradley. But we will be talking about the Kenner Power of the Force line. This is a line where Kenner was dying out. Kenner knew, well, not Kenner, but Kenner knew Star Wars was dying out. No new movie on the rise. And what were they going to do? They were going to rechange everything or try to pull in some sales. Here it goes, Bradley. This is for you. <laughs> Does anyone even know what this is? Okay, let's give him a video. Let's see what we can give him here. Let's give him a good. Let's uh, here. We'll give this Bradley this. We'll give, this I think it's a joke. We're gonna give this joke just for Bradley. Charles, where does the joy come from? And I said it comes from my blank, and it blanks from my blank. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Bradley. Hope that was worth the super chat. I'm sure it was. Sure, everyone had a good time laughing at that. Yes, yeah, someone Tim's got it. Baby Yoda. That is ba the inside of Baby Yoda. My son got a Baby Yoda, but he didn't want it to talk. He's like, no, I don't. This is creepy. Take it out. And he took it, took it out and gave it to me. He said, here, you probably can use this for your videos or something. And I said, damn right. When I saw it, I said, damn right. Ah, oh, that's creepy, man. That's, I need to put it in here. That's what I need to do. And I need to put it in here. Then we can have. What's that? <laughs> no, Alien Todd wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, he's crazy, man. He's a crack up, ain't he? Okay, 1985, we saw Power of the Force. Let's go ahead and take, let's go ahead and pull that up. Then we'll get over to the chats and talk. Remember, Super Chats, make sure I see them. Uh, and then I'll try to catch up on some here and there. Uh, in fact, let's wait a little bit before we jump into the Power of the Force here. Let's just see what's going on in the room. See what's going on. Any Star Wars news? Not really. Not much Star Wars news. Now, Power of uh, Pop. Culture in the morning's not going to happen tomorrow morning. I got some things that I'm going to miss it. So we're going to... Oh, that's chat still it and come up really good, is it? There we go. Um, so we're going to miss uh, pop culture in the morning. I got some things I need to do. Won't be able to be in front of the computer. But I still plan to be back 7 o'clock live for the Action Figure Show. That's right. It's coming back. Uh, I was going to call it Talk Tuesday. Uh, Toy Talk Tuesday, but I also already got a mug. I already got shirts that say the Action Figure Show, so we'll do that. It might be a little different. It might be a little different, you know. Won't be like the late night format that you're used to. But for you guys that came here for the Star Wars talk, you like get to it now. Uh, like I said, I like to do Star Wars news, but we don't really have anything. I think I talked last week about Disney Plus getting the Boba Fett Holiday Special, the Ewok cartoons. Uh, the Ewok movies. I don't know why the droids cartoon wasn't there. I don't really understand that. Jedi sent a super check. Give yourself a king size Reese. Hell yeah, I love a Reese cup. <laughs> that is for you, Jedi. And uh, let's give you. Here you go. We're gonna give you. Here's a video clip just for Jedi. Huh? All right, fellas, in the way we go. 
Yeah, out the way we go. There we go. Rachel, you come back. Don't worry, we still got the soundboard. We're still going to have sound, fun with the soundboard. Shucky, ducky, quack, quack. Okay, Power of the Force. Now, if you're like me, you probably didn't even know this line existed. I got out of Star Wars toys right around 83, right at the beginning of 84. I knew some of that line, some of that late 84 line I didn't remember. But I don't think I knew about Han Solo trench coat. But Power of the Force figures, I didn't know anything about it until the 90s. And then I remember looking at them and being so surprised when I saw I remember I had a price guide, and it just had names. It had Anakin Skywalker, and I could not believe they made an Anakin Skywalker. Flipping through the page, Han, Luke Skywalker in a Stormtrooper outfit, I, was, I couldn't believe it. And then Han Solo in Carbonite. I could not believe they made all these figures. I didn't know about it. This was probably 92, 90. I didn't know... Or nothing at all about I never saw them I did see some Power of the Force figures one time at KB Toys at the mall because I remember telling my brother there's a new Star Wars movie coming out and it's called Power of the Force I saw the toys it's already out that's what I told him but apparently I was wrong because there was no movie called Power of the Force comes out that would have been good for one of the prequels they should have named one of the prequels Power of the Force that would have probably been a good name hey they was going to name it Balance of the Force at one time right or at least that was the long time rumor for years that it was going to be called Balance of the Force <laughs> <sighs> that is well. It, it's cuter sounds when it's inside Baby Yoda, but when it's out here by itself, ah! it's just creepy, man. Creepy. Oh, I think I got the heater on up in here. It is hot. It is hot. Speaking of hot, uh, did you see the latest video? But not Star Blazers. The one we did yesterday. Check that one out if you didn't see it. The one about uh, TV show specials. Remember the special episode of the television? You want to check that out. But anyway, we're talking about baby. We were no, we weren't. We we're talking about Kenner Star Wars. Uh, let's just hop over here. I think I've stalled long enough here. Okay, like I said, I had a whole bit ready to go while we looked at these and talked about. But we'll say there were 22 action figures released for Power of the Force. 22 that were already released, meaning they came from Empire Star Wars the Jedi that crossed over. But there were some new figures in this line. 15 new figures made up the Power of the Force line. And I know you're saying, Junk Man, what are you talking about? You're an idiot. It's the last 17. We all know that. Why are you saying it's the last 15? Because that's what it is. I know people say it's the last 15, but it's not the last 15. I mean, people say it's the last 17, but it's 15. Because you know why? Those two Ewoks that people for some reason want to count as part of a Power of the Force line, they were released in the U.S. on the Return of the Jedi card. That's right, right at the end of 1986, going before, I mean 1984, but going forward, going into 1985, Papalu Lamont, his name is, I think his name's Lamont, he was released, they were both released on Return of the Jedi cards, but a lot of collectors, for some reason, count them as Power of the Force figures, but they're not, they're actually Return of the Jedi figures, just very late in the Return of the Jedi line, the last two figures to be released as part of the Return of the Jedi line. So the power of the force came. Power of the, uh, Kenner was on sale, slipping for Return of the Jedi. They knew they didn't have a movie on the horizon, and they knew they had to do something. They had to get some new figures out. They had to, you know, put some more juice into the line. So to help kids get back into collecting, they decided to have each figure come with a collector's coin. Each fig, uh, getting kids wanting to buy each figure, maybe a figure they already had, so they could get the coin. But it really didn't really help generate more sales he didn't bring kids back into star wars be honest with you there was probably a lot more they could have done to justify bringing figures back in i mean bringing kids back into the line because as you know they knew early on with the power of the force line hitting clearance aisles this line was dead now of course probably the most famous from the line is yak face though yak face did not get released in the u.s although he did get released in canada and other countries he never made it to the u.s as the line was canceled now there were people that would tell you that he was going to be the free figure to kick off the 1996 line but that's not true nope that was not their plan their plan was to do because you know kenner would like to release a new figure uh to celebrate the new coming line you know you had anakin for the power of the force line release and you had you know the uh Akbar going into the Return of the Jedi line. And for the second Power of the Force line, the 1986 line, their plan was to release um, a collector's album to put your coins in and an exclusive coin that had a, a Jedi coin. But nope, there was no plans to bring Yak Face as the free figure in the U.S., although that's been rumored for some time. There's no nothing behind that rumor to make it even sound like it's true. 
And not only did you get figures in the Power of the Force line, you got some carded little mini rigs. Not really fun to talk about. And two vehicles, the most popular, two most popular. Well, they only released two, so I can't say the two most popular, was the Battle Wagon. The Ewok Battle Wagon, which a lot of you remember, crossed over and ended up in the Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves line, also by Kenner. And probably the most famous vehicle in the Power of the Force line is probably one everybody loves and wish they had. The Tatooine Skiff. The Tatooine Skiff, really great looking ship. Really hard to find. One of the rarest fig uh, ships to find, if you call it. Is it a ship or a vehicle? One of the rarest ones to find. And then, of course, you had ships that didn't make it. Or the X-Wing was going to appear in the Power of the Force line, but it got canceled before it did. In fact, uh, also, they were going to bring the Battle Wagon over to the Droids line. And the Skiff both was going to uh, move over to the Droid Skiff line. I mean, the Droid line, but they never did. As we can see right there, the Tatooine Skiff, a great-looking ship that Hasbro has redone a couple of times. And that is it. I hope I did okay. My notes got my script got deleted, so hopefully that turned out okay there. Uh, we got a super chat. Here you go, super chat. The weed is in your garden. That is stupid. The weed in your garden. Let's see. Let's give him a soundboard. Whatever you take an ocean to, I don't aim to put you out. There. And let's give y'all let me know too if you like videos or soundboard better. Let's give him. Let's see what we can give him. Here he goes. I love it when a plan comes together. He loves it when a plan comes together. Right there, that's the man, that's the myth. That is weed in your garden sending in a super chat. And with Sue Hill, we got Ashley's here. I didn't see Ashley was here. Ashley, thank you for joining us. We got some of the regular. We got Brian. We got Mad. We got Dominic. I always like that name, Dominic. Uh, it just reminds me of kindergarten cop whenever I hear it. We got Scary Butt. Scary Butt. Man, y'all come up with some wacky names. I saw somebody on here the name. I think his name was Greg Brady's Leftovers. Um, we got Connor, we got Darren Stevens from three, from, uh, Bee Witches actually in here. We got Connor, we got Django Unbrained. Man, Django Unbrained. We got Kevin. What were we up to? We're up to 80 people. We are cranking. Let me know too if you like this little chat window thing I put up here. You get to see the stupid chats pop up. You get a little zombie egg. I don't know if I can change the picture. If I can, I'll put something more Star Wars or more Junkman related. Uh... Ramba is Rambo. It is. It is like, oh, Ashley is here sending us Super Chat. Ashley, this is for you. And let's give Ashley a video, a video clip. What can we give Ashley? What can we, here goes, Ashley. This one is just for you. I love being a princess. It's fun to dress up and yeah. wear the crown and all yeah. that, but yeah. Yeah. what I really want to be is the elephant. There you go. A video clip for Ashley right there. Uh, she's sending in a super chat, so thank you. It means a lot. It means you're supporting the channel and everything. Uh, but the other guys, you're all supporting it being here, so that's always helped too. Don't forget, the live streams replay go up to that Junkman live channel. Please subscribe to that channel. Please go watch the videos, even if you've already seen them. Let them play in the background so I can build up my watch time minutes. I'm at 760, and I need 4,000 watch time before I can get ads. And, uh, you know, it's okay, though, because... Uh, I mean, they're about an hour long, so it's, maybe it shouldn't, maybe it won't take that long. We got another one here. We got Mad Dino sends in a super chat. Mean Dino, you are the man, Mad Dino. <laughs> that is for you. Even Baby Yoda agrees. You are the man. <laughs> Shut up, Baby Yoda. Uh, here goes Mad Dino. This video clip is just for you. And a smile that lights up the night, and it all belongs to Kid Dino there we go, guys. Woo! So, let me know what you think. Did you know about Power of the Force figures back when they came out? Did you collect them? Were you still buying Star Wars back then in 1985? Maybe you weren't even born. But were you still buying Star Wars figures back in 1985 when uh, Power of the Force came out? Let me know all that and let me know even more here. Uh, let's check out this chat. We got Ashley. E. Ashley put some hearts up there. We got... Uh, Plastic says yo junk man yo junk man that's a way to say it. you can say yo junk man or you can say hey, junk man channel popping you can say junk man's channel popping though that's our catchphrase that we like to say around here we got rick evening guys and gals jedi said never mind i don't know where we're never minded but we're never minding it we got juan the only figure from a new hope swing luke the only figure <laughs> 
is the only figure from Return of the Jedi, Swing Luke. Don't know what he means by Swing Luke. Does he mean the regular in white Luke Skywalker? Where you have, from a, from a New Hope, you have Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper outfit. They are both from Star Wars New Hope. Juan, let me know if that's what you mean. Roger says, hi, everyone. Darren Steven says, the Slee Stack Flying Monkey Alliance is real. That I do believe, 125%. Ashley says, do not purchase any Power of the Force figures in 1985, sadly. Hey, that either. Saw one Clarence didn't care at all about Star Wars. I remember walking into KB, they were like two for a dollar. Power of the Force figures. <laughs> two for a dollar. You could have got that. Man, if I could only go back in time, right? If I only could go back in time. If I could turn back time. I never heard a Power of the Force until I started watching your channel. Until you start watching my channel. Well, that's good to know, because I always think that most people that come to my channel is already starting kind of collecting Star Wars stuff. Although, I hear people say he does a toy channel. I'm always like, I don't know. I guess I do do a toy channel, but I talk about other things also. I like to think, and I always like, maybe pop history channel, but I guess I can see where it's really a toy channel there. Is that too much writing on the screen? Jumpman kicked Doom Cock's wife. <laughs> what did you say? I missed that one. It went away right when I saw it. Oh, man, I missed that one there. Um... Power of the Force 2 Jabba. Power of the Force 2 Jabba looks like an old man Jabba. I remember that. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was right around the late 90s. Was it the Was it the one from uh, the Phantom Man? I mean, they did one that like a frog shot out of its mouth. It was really weird. Never saw them again. Uh, Bradley said, I saw the whole line at a regional department store called Richmond Goodman's. That sounds familiar. Just got an indoor loop. Well, it's a good thing. That's a hard one to find. And believe it or not, when I was buying my figures, getting them all loose before eBay, when I was buying them at toy shows and comic book stores and stuff like that, you know the hardest figure for me to find? It wasn't Yak Face. It wasn't Blue Snaggletooth. The last one for me to get that I never did see was Princess Leia in her indoor outfit. I don't know, that's odd. With the helmet and everything. That, to me, was the hard. And that's a, that's a Jedi figure. That's not even a power of the force. That was the one that was took me the longest to track down. Because, like I said, I had my little price guide book. And I would mark them off as I went. You know, there was some I would just wait and get because it was easy, easy to find. I would have spend my money somewhere else. And I'm really glad I picked up those loose stuff in the 90s. But, can you believe it? I started collecting loose in the 90s. I've got every figure. But there's just like four figures that don't have their weapons. And, no, I don't want repo. I want real weapons. I've got to get off my ass and collect those last four before I die so I can say, hey, last four. Three or four, so I can say I got a complete, 100% complete set. Now, I don't count the coins as you. What are you guys that buy Power of the Force? Do you count the coin? If you have a figure of, let's say, Luke Stormtrooper, you got the helmet, you got the gun, but you don't have his coin. Does that count as having a complete figure? I count it as having complete if it doesn't have the coin because the coin isn't the figure. You know, the coin's just an accessory, but you can have, and plus, Trilogo figures didn't have the coin at all. So you could either, you know, you could buy the figure without the coin. So, Ashley, man, Ashley is killing me here. Ashley, you are the best. Citizens, another, here you go, another. And we're going to give you a voice, and I'll answer. Which four? I don't know which four. I think it's a couple of the Ewoks missing someone, like the headgear on one of them and the bow, I think. Uh, I'm not sure which Ewoks it is. I got them put to the side. Uh, I think that, and I think that's about it. So I think they're both Ewoks. Oh, and the microphones for the uh, Max Rebo Band. Thank you, Ashley, again. Thank you. Uh, let's see what we can give you. But, yeah, Max Rebo Band, I need the mics for, for sure. Oh, uh, Lou can't give you that one right there because I got demonetized for that one earlier. Oh, uh, let's see what we can give you. We're going to give you... Hmm. Ashley needs a good one. Here it goes, Ashley. Just for you. Song about Jelly Man Kelly. He loves jelly the most. Papa Moose of all. Jelly Man Kelly loves jelly on toast. A loose jack fair. There you go, Ashley. Hope you enjoyed Jelly Man Kelly because Jelly Man Kelly... He likes jelly the most, but most of all, he likes jelly on his toast. I think we all know Jelly Man Kelly. Ashley, there you go. Uh, You're probably oh, Echo Base is here. Coins do not count. Thank you, e Echo Base. I've been talking to Echo Base. We're gonna try to hook up and do something. If you're fans of his channel, really good channel, real professional like channel. Really enjoy watching his streams. But that motherfucker talks all damn. Oh. Hey, I need that no, no, no clip. No, no. He, he talked all... I went to his live stream and it was like eight hours. Eight hours live stream. I couldn't believe it. And then he was back the next day doing another live stream. But Echo Base is here. 
uh, like we're, I'm going to try to help over the channel. I'd like to have them on over here. I don't really do guests. You know, I had some guests that worked for Kenner that came on and talked. I would like to do more guests. I just don't know how to bring guests really good in the stream labs. And I don't like using stream yards, but I need to start using it because that seems the easiest way to get guests on the show. But it's great to see Echo Bass. We'll give Echo Bass. Let's give him a sound clip, a random sound clip. Just for, I know that, dude. He knows that, dude. And, of course, we got T for two. Really great Terminator, uh, Terminator 2 channel. Check it out. And a lot of people saying they don't count the coins. I don't either. Like I said, I don't really count the coins either. Like I said, the trap logos didn't come with the coins. So you could get the figures with or without coins. And the coins isn't part of the figure. I mean, the coin, if, if they had a haunted carbonite and in the movie he had a coin, then I would say that counts. A uh, coin has, has no play value unless you're gambling. That's true. I would love to gamble. That I mean, I've played poker before, and I'd rather lose, you know, $10 than lose 10 Power of the Force coins. In, in fact, I got a guy. I don't know if he's probably down in the chat, but he emailed me. He's got some coins that he had from when he was a kid, and he asked if he could send them to me. I was like, dude, why don't you want them? If you don't want them, I'll take them. And I'm always glad when you guys want to send me something. And he's like, I'll let them go somewhere they're going to be loved and taken care of. And I was like, send them here. I do have some coins. The only coins I have is a Han and Carbonite. Um, I've got a Han and Carbonite and Imperial Gunner. I think they're the only two coins I have. Um, Ashley says she loves Echo Bay. So that's good. I'm glad to know we got some mutual friends. Yeah, they're a pretty good channel. They they talk more current Star Wars stuff. But he's, I know the guys over there always have Star Wars toys behind them. And that's... You know, I get bored. I start searching Star Wars live streams, so it's always good when I see some Star Wars. Jumpman and Echo Base will be a good mix. Be good. Like I said, hopefully I'll be able to catch up, go over to their channel sometime soon. Uh, I think it'll be really good. Uh, um, Raw says, I'm late. Raw Solo, I thought you were here earlier. I thought I'd never seen your name up here. I guess not. I, mean, I got you mixed up with Mad Dino. Y'all both got little, uh, got the icon next to you, maybe. Echo Base says, I had a... I had a whole entire set of the Kenner line and sold it. So mad at myself. <laughs> hey, at least you sold yours. I don't even, I had, all, growing up, I had every figure from Star Wars to about the last line before Power of the Force, the last Return of the Jedi line. I don't know what happened to them. I know I left somewhere with my friend Boyd's house and never went back to get them because we just stopped hanging out together because we moved on from toys. And then I don't know what happened to like my Death Star and all my play sets and stuff. I still had maybe... 10 figures from my childhood I still had. Um, so I was, you know, I traded, but then in 92, I traded my blue snaggletooth that I had since a kid. I traded it for a land speeder and two figures. That's stupid. So I had to go back and buy that again. I bought it. I actually found a blue snaggletooth probably about 15 years ago at a yard sale. That's hard to believe too. Uh, and let me ask you this. Okay, I had a blue snaggletooth. Now I played with that blue, blue snaggletooth from like 1982 it was my brother's. I'll be honest. He came with his playset. It was my brother's blue snaggletooth. But he moved on. He was five years older than me or something like that. He moved on before I did. So I was playing with the Empire figures. I was buying all, all the Return of the Jedi figures I was buying. And then in 93, I traded the blue snaggletooth. And he says that the blue snaggletooth I have now is his blue snaggletooth because I traded mine. I traded his off for a land speeder. And I said, no, I bought that with my money. And he said, well, I bought that one with my money and you traded it. You know, joking around, you don't really want the blue snaggletooth. But I said, if anything, the land speeder that I traded for the blue snaggletooth is yours and the two figures. I think it was a Han, Holt, and a Luke. I could be wrong. So to him, that's what he, that's that's where his figures went. So that's it. So y'all let me know in the chat what you think. Should should he legally be a titled man? That would be, we should, maybe he'll let me take him to the people's court. Wouldn't that be good? We'll have a people's court episode. Whose blue snaggletooth is it? I say his got traded away. Uh, okay, let's see here. Oh, I forgot to bring anything to drink up here with me. Now my mouth is dry and I'm 30 minutes in. That's, I don't see how those Echo, guy, Echo Base guys did it for eight hours or whatever. Crazy. Uh, Raw Solo says, I want the Han Solo and Carbonite. I love that figure. One of the figures I love as collecting side. doesn't have any sentimental value because I didn't play with it as a kid. But I do love that figure. And that's one I want on card. I had a Luke on card. Luke Stormtrooper on card. I had to sell it. And I had a Darth Vader. A Darth Vader. I had a Boba Fett on the Droids cards. Found it really cheap at 2nd and Charles. I couldn't believe it. Oh, did I ever tell y'all my story? 
about second and Charles down in Duluth, Alabama. I was down there working or something, and they had a second and Charles around the hotel. If you've never been to second and Charles, it's kind of like a media place. If you remember a media place, pretty big store. I think it's owned by Books a Million. It's always have secondhand stuff. They'll buy records. They'll buy books. They'll buy toys. They'll buy stuff and resell them. A lot of times they take them from storage, close out and stuff. I went in there looking. They usually have some, usually I can find some good records there and stuff. Cause, but uh, everyone, I'll look at the toys. And I walked in, and they had droid figures carded cheap i mean not dirt cheap but like hundred dollars a figure ninety dollars a figure and i couldn't believe it and i don't know much about droids so i said okay i took a picture of it went to a facebook group so i'm gonna throw a picture up because i don't really care about the droids figures an r2 and 3 bill would have been nice but i want to see if anybody else wants them and that's when somebody said hey dude you notice they had boba fett that figure's worth like two to three thousand dollars and they're asking a hundred dollars for it so i went back it was like right before they closed, I went back. I said, I'm buying that. I'm a big Boba Fett fan. That's a deal. I'm buying it. I bought that Boba Fett. And I was like, Whew. I can't believe it. And then I, in that hotel at night, down in Duluth, Alabama, I think, the, I think the Echo guys, if I remember right, from Alabama. Maybe I need to get over to Alabama here because I would love to do a show with somebody in person. I think it would be a lot of fun. But um, so I went back. You know, I, at this time, people was asking me on the Facebook group, where's this store at? What's this store? And I said, it's in Duluth, Alabama, second in Charles and everything. So I went back, drove back down there, but they were closed. Went back to the hotel, slept, watched TV, do what we do when we're alone in a hotel room. And then the next morning, got there right when they opened, walked in, the figures were gone. I was like, what, what happened? I know when I left there, when I bought that Boba Fett, they were about to close. I know they had those figures here. Saw them in the back. On a shelf back in the back. Got the manager to say, I want to buy that. I want to buy all those figures you got. And what did they say? No, someone, they said someone called from Facebook. They're sending somebody to get them. He's already paid credit card over the phone or whatever. And he's got a guy that's going to come get them. Because we don't mail, but he's got a guy in the area that's going to come get them. So I lost out on buying all those figures because my big mouth shared it with. Now I wasn't too upset because I, it, you know, I would probably bought them just to probably flip them or trade them off for Star Wars stuff I need because I don't really care about the droid line. Uh, R2 and 3 Boba would have been kind of cool to have. Can't remember if they were even had those. But I was like, hey, dude, the dude on Facebook, you could at least give me a finder's fee. He could at least give me a finder's fee, right? And I told him about it. So I learned right then to shut up. Don't say something when I find it until. I'm 100% sure, 100% sure I don't want it. So I should have waited, you know, till the next day when I was leaving Duluth, when I wasn't near Alabama. I think that's what it was called, Duluth, Alabama. That sound right. And I shouldn't have said nothing. Because just in case. I'm just glad I went back and got that Boba Fett before he called because that Boba Fett would have been his. But sadly, about two years ago, I got laid off work. Oh, I had to sell the Boba Fett, so I don't have it anymore. I feel you, baby. I feel you. Oh, well, that's my... That's my Alabama story right there. That's my Alabama story. Uh, okay, Raw came in late, so Raw doesn't know about the new video chat. Probably if you let's, I'm just in the mood to do a video chat. I know nobody sent nothing here, but here goes. I miss my old Camaro and my mansion in Van Nuys. Wish I still hung with Nash Bridges, played poker with a folk guy. Did I say Duluth, Alabama? Did I say Duluth? I think it's Dalton, Alabama, I think was the name of it. Dalton. Did I say Duluth? Dalton, Alabama. I think that was the name of it. Uh, yes, I had a job where I would travel. I would panhandle of Florida, Alabama, south side of Alabama. I had, some, I had to go to North Carolina a lot, South Carolina. And I loved my free time hitting the antique stores. Hitting, you know, Second and Charles if they had one. Hitting comic book stores for sure. Record store. I love finding a local comic book store and a record store. My two things I love to find. Did the video chat this morning. Oh, okay. Raw was in here. Yeah, Raw, you was in here this morning. I just wanted to use you as an excuse to play a video chat. So I could stop talking for a few minutes here. Um, Dave's Boy's Myth. That sounds weird. <laughs> You had to have a banjo on your knee to go to Alabama. And not only was I in Alabama, but I was in... I feel like getting a shadow on my face. Not only was I in Alabama, but I was in South Alabama. You think Alabama's bad? Go to the South of Alabama. Echo Base guys are from Alabama. I better hush. Hush. Now, I've been to Montgomery a couple of times. I like Montgomery. Been there. I've seen Hank Williams Sr.'s grave. Spent a time looking at that. I like, I like Alabama. 
They got a NASA place in Alabama we went to one time, too. I really enjoyed that NASA center there. Baby Yoda should have been named Frogbutt Mudbutt. I think that was the original name I heard. Frogbutt Mudbutt Jr. I heard it was going to be his name. Uh, Roger was said he was in the morning show. Uh, I've been to Dolphin, Alabama. You don't hear me people bragging about that. Nice shirt. I went to Dolphin, Alabama. Oh, if you enter for the contest to win the Darf, the Death Star playset or the free shirts and the free mugs and stuff, I've got all those emailed. The contest is over, ended Sunday, but I'm going to get my ass, I'm going to get time as soon as I can to go through that and pick a winner, hopefully sometime this week, and we will announce the winner. I'll announce the winner on Twitter, Facebook, and during probably a uh, live stream, probably the Pop Culture Show. Uh, my Alabama story is NC-17. Have to save that for another time. Maybe we ought to do Junk Man After Dark. You know, one time I thought about doing some videos on Pornhub. Believe it or not, I did think about that. Not nude. I wasn't going to do my videos in a nude. I just said, hey, maybe we'll just talk a little dirtier, a little raunchier, just because no one's doing it. I don't know if they would allow it, but I was like, that's, I like to think outside the box sometimes. So I thought, well, what if I did like a show like Junk Man After Dark and we put it on something like Pornhub? Wouldn't that be crazy? Like I said, I wouldn't, maybe, you know. I wouldn't flash any boobies or anything. I wouldn't flash my shirt. But hey, if Bella's toy chest can show her cleavage all day, maybe I can show some junk too. Candace Cherry's in the house. Carrie Ch Cherry says, hey, junk man. Hey to you, Candace Cherry. Always one of the first people when I put up a video to comment on it is Candace Cherry. Do you think the internet in Alabama, you think they have the internet in Alabama? Well, they did because I went to a hotel room and told people on Facebook about them about the place and i shouldn't have i should have learned my lessons spoonie lee from up above says what's up junk man what's up spoonie lee nice to have you in the house again super chats make sure i don't miss them in the share and you get your video not only do you get you might get a sound clip not that one my son's a homosexual you might get him. you might get that sound clip and you might get a video a random video clip hell you might get one of comic book artist pro I don't know his real name, EVS, I think is his initials. You might get a special him making fun of the junk man. You know you have arrived. Really, I don't know who that guy is. I just know he's on YouTube. But he seems very popular. So, uh, let's see. we got some deleted messages here. we got a lot. The chat is blowing up. 98. Come on, let's hit 100. Get us to 100 views. That would be awesome. We are trying to grow the two live streams as best we can. Are you going to do a live stream from Nashville? ICCCCCCCC Con. If I go, haven't decided yet. You know, have some issues with work. So trying to go full time here. That might have set off any travel plans. But we will see. I did send them an email about getting a free ticket inside for a pass. I didn't hear back. I don't know if I missed the deadline ethan van silver is his name that guy says maybe i missed it i'm not sure so that would help you know that would nudge me a little bit raw raw sends in a super chat super chat let me know if y'all like the little messages coming up on the screen or not if you do or if you hate them or not raw sends in a super chat let's give him a random let's give him give him that and then let's see what we can give him we hadn't gave you yet here i got some new ones that didn't make it in this morning here you go, Raw. Just oh, let's get, we'll give him the EVS one. Here's Comic Artist Pro. Yeah. Sorry, Ryan Johnson haters. It's still on, says Star Wars Junk Man. Star Wars Junk Man. Star Wars Punk Ass. There you go. That's just for you right there. Anybody's a fan of him, there he is. I didn't even know who he was. Somebody said, hey, that guy's reading your tweets online. That's an old video. That was back when I was Star Wars Junk. Remember that? Hate the messages on the video screen. Okay, Matt hates the messages. Let me know if you hate the messages. Also, to me, they do seem like they might be a little annoying. So let me know if you do. Take your shirt off, says... Uh, I know, you have to send a super chat. That has to be a good super chat. You send me a $500 super chat, I will do a whole live stream without my shirt on. But you probably... I'll probably get more super chats to get my shirt back on. Probably here. Uh, it's pronounced Van Schemer. Van Schemer. Uh, okay, I believe you. Oh, we got another super chat. Jeff is it? Jeff, I can't believe Jeff sent a super chat. Jeff, you are the man. Love your channel. Keep up the good work, brother. Thank you for not saying bro, uh, bros, or bra. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. That means a lot. So let's give him a. Did I do that one? I'm not sure if I did that one. Let's give. Who can we give 
Oh, hmm. Did I do that? I'm trying to do one I haven't done, so I'm like, did I do that? We did that one. Uh, there's another guy in here I want to save that one for. I don't know if he's in here or not. So let's give him... Hmm. Let's give him this one. I don't think I did this one. Here it goes. <laughs> okay, I know I did the other one where, where uh, uh, the joke, but I don't think I did that one. So uh, there you go. There's your video random. I guess it's not too random here because I did want to do something that's already been done. Did I do Planet of the Apes? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll save the next one for Planet of the Apes. Did I do the singing Planet of the Apes? Maybe that'll be the next one. I know. You're thinking. Uh... Man, you got some weird ass sound clips. You should be doing Star Wars sound clips or something. Uh, bro, bro is something. Uh, bra, bra is what women wear. The bro is what men wear. Uh, it's pronounced Van Skyver, Skyver, like MacGyver. Okay, did not know that. Thank you, Dave. Boys myth. I don't want to know what the boys myth is. So don't tell me that. We got Freebird fan seventy nine says uh, says law. Uh, LOL, of course. We got uh, Matt says, if you can just have Super Chats pop up. Yeah, I think you're right. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Matt says it's annoying seeing the chats come up. And I think I'm going to agree with Matt right now. And I think I'm going to cut him off. I think I'm going to cut him off, Matt. Just for you. That's for you, Matt. That's the kind of guy the junk man is. You say you don't like something. The rest of the room, hundred over 100 people. 103 people like it. Matt doesn't. So I'm going with you, Matt. Because I agree. It seems like if I was watching a live stream, that would, especially if you're watching online, you got the script, you can see the chats anyway, right? You can see the chats even on the replay. Well, I'm not going to upload them to Live Junk Man. The jump, go to the other Junk Man channel for the replays. So I can understand. It probably is annoying seeing that. But if you send in a super chat, you will get it to pop up on the screen. And you get a zombie there, because I don't know how they change the icon. We got Bradley Good says, you need some. I do have a bad feeling about this sound clip. He said, dude, that would be a good one to really have. But one of personal favorites, I played this one earlier. I'll play it again. Okay, Junk Band, I know you're still watching. Hear it from me to you. Fuck off, okay? You're not welcome here. That is probably one of the best sound clips I could find right there. I love that one. Oh my God, it's Echo in here. He's still probably going to say, man, don't be so mean to that lady. I don't know who that lady is. It's nothing personal. I just found it funny. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I just found it funny. Although I heard that she is has talked to her lawyer and that she's going to sue the junk man. She has a lawyer? Where did we go? We dropped down a lot. Hey. How did we lose five? We lost about six people all of a sudden. Six people clicked in here and said, what is this? It's a live stream. It's about Star Wars. And he's not bashing Star Wars at all. He hasn't at all demanded for Kathleen Kennedy to be fired. How is this a Star Wars stream? They did not understand. They got the hell out of here. They don't understand. How can you do a live stream of Star Wars? He hadn't even said Ryan Johnson's head is round yet. And it is pretty round. It is pretty round. Oh. <laughs> Let's go back to Shucky Ducky. Shucky Ducky, quack, quack. Shucky ducky. quack, quack. Where's my pretty cool guy? Who? Who's the guy that likes pretty cool? I've seen that. I've seen him before. I was trying to think of who it was. Uh, we got a great sound clip of Chewbacca. Chewbacca, 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 Chewbacca was Harry Chewbacca. That is some gross look sounding shit right there, man. Uh, jump. We got, hey, Jumpman is getting laid here in Liverpool. But what the hell, it's all good. I'm going to send this out to you. You're probably the one this morning. I'm going to cut this one short because I cut my ads off last time I played it for Liverpool. But anyone in Liverpool gets this one. Okay, let's cut it off because I played it. It's only like seven seconds and I played it on the morning show. And then I got a hit with uh, that I can't. They, they want to take my whole revenue for my live stream because I played eight seconds of that. I can okay, give him eight seconds worth of the clip, but come on. Oh, man. That lady looks like Java. Okay, I'm not going to talk. I want to. I'm not. Like I said, I want to make sure no one says I'm harassing. Or that's why I never even put her name out there. Oh, we got Dave. Dave Reese has sent a super chat. Dave, it means a lot. It means you're helping out the channel. Making to make sure we do more live streams. So I'm going to give you a sound clip and a video clip. You have earned both. I'm going to give you both. Here goes. Well, what happened? I thought I had that one ready to go. I didn't. I'll give you this one. I tried this one chili and it set my mouth on fire and I had to drink a two liter of Mountain Dew. 
And let's give you a, man, I have all these sound clips. Here goes, this one's for you. Ah, you know what old Jack Burton always says at a time like this? Who? Jack Burton, me. <laughs> okay, I thought I had too many video clips, and now I'm like, okay, I've done that one, no, no, no. I'm trying to think of ones I haven't done yet. Whew, why didn't I bring a drink with me? She looks more like, okay, I'm not going to talk bad about her. Uh, but, uh, shucky ducky quack quack, says Connor. You are right, shucky ducky quack quack. <laughs> and now when I need a video clip, I need some Enia Jones video clips for sure. Right there. So again, I know we're supposed to be talking Star Wars and we kind of laid back. We talked a little Star Wars and then we just read the chats. And we just have fun. If you come here and say, where's the power of the force talk? We talked about it already. But if I got any more to add, we will add it. So in the jump, in the room, I'll let you know. If you've got anything to add about the power of the force, if you bought them as a kid, if you collected them, or if you didn't even find out about them till later, let me know. I threw a liter, I threw a little bit of Mountain Dew, so Dave Boyd myth. I would lot I would lot I would not let that dude near my kids. Shucky ducky. I thought she looks more okay. What does Osmond's needs to do with your money? What does Osmond need with your money? I don't know. What's the Os yeah, the Osmonds, right? You're gonna take my little bit of revenue from my live stream with the not the super chat, he doesn't take that, but the, uh, the claim it. Oh, Come on, the Osmonds. Come on, they got more money than the than God. Osmonds need that money. I think uh, EVS was one who came up with the round head Ryan Johnson thing. I did not know that. We'll never use it again. Um, who came up with the Phantom? Phantom. I got people. I love when I do a new video and it's like new people that are on my channel are like, "You said it wrong. It's not Phantom. It's Phantom." I was like, dude, you don't watch my channel, do you, here? A uh, Freebird fan, 79, is a fan of Freebird. Ah. He said, let me see what he said. I missed it. I, I just had it right here. Where'd he go? Oh, man, I missed it. He said, let's talk Star Wars toys. Well, we talk Star Wars toys at the beginning and the end of the show. We usually just bullshit and talk around. But we will talk about Star Wars toys. Anybody got any questions about the power of the Force or any Star Wars toys, let me know. And then... You know, Star Wars Monday isn't just about, you know, we do one topic, we do a topic, and then the rest of the show is about other Star Wars stuff, but we do need to move on and talk Star Wars stuff. Jedi says, get a sound, oh, I read that one already. TK, 1972, I heard him earlier, he was here earlier, I think he was here this morning, he said, hey, jump man, I'm getting late, oh, I read that one, read that one already, we got another super chat, did I get that one? Brian, Brian, thank you so much for the super, uh, he likes to put words. Give me strictly burners to my boy Uncle Casey from T4. I don't know, man. To my boy Uncle Casey from T2. Man, what's them first two words, man? I am drawing a blank. But we're gonna give you a video, a video clip for a super chat. Well, I gotta eat, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. There we go. That was not the one you were supposed to get. Why did that one come up? I thought I deleted that. No, oh, Red Brad. I thought that was going to be something else. So I'm all well confused right now. Why did that one come up? That was a good one too, though. But it should have been Ain't No Santa Claus. Well, I gotta eat, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Ain't No Santa Claus is what I clipped on. Oh, well, we'll have to fix that one later. Uh, what are we up to now? We're up to 48 minutes. Don't forget, if you're a YouTube member or a Patreon member, to look for the exclusive link so you can join... The after show. That's right. A live stream after show after this one on Mondays where I talk to the fine folks over at the Patreon show. I mean, Patreon and YouTube members. And we just bullshit around. Last time I pulled out some box from the closet, had He Man, all to vintage He Man toys in it. I didn't know what was in it. I just pulled it out, went through it, and we talked about it. So you never know what we're going to get. We talked for about 30 minutes on the after show. Uh, I gave so many toys to my nephew. That seems to be, at least you gave it to someone that probably went and had fun with it. Oh, I remember when I met my, well, my ex-wife now, uh, when I started dating her, she, we went to Atlanta to get all the toys that her aunt had for her kids, Star Wars toys. And I was like, yeah, they just gave them to me. Just gave them to me. It was great. Back in the early 90s, people would just give you Star Wars toys. They're like, we're going to throw it away. You want this, they, you want this crap? They didn't know. So I took it and I heard years later they were like mad at her. The kids were like, why'd you give away my Star Wars stuff? Yeah, because 
I wanted it. Hey, it went to a better home. You would have sold that shit on eBay, probably. <laughs> they sure slow bringing out the Power of the Force stuff. Uh, they sure were slow bringing out Power of the Force 2 stuff. Took years to get a good amount of figures. I don't, I don't I have to disagree with that. And I wanted one of the Shadows of the Empire stuff. I mean, I, they did like two or three series per year. Well, about 10, 10 figures, 10 to 12 figures in each one. I mean... I mean, they could go overboard. Remember when Hasbro bought Indiana Jones toys out for the Crystal Skull and they did Raiders, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, and Crystal Skull and they flooded the market with like six different Indiana Jones figures that almost all looked alike. They just flooded the whole market instead of like, let's just do Crystal Skull, then let's do late Raiders half the, or something. They really killed the market there. Where the hell, hell is Chris Cadwell? That is a good question. Chris, where is he? Is he tied up in... Cherry's basement. Who knows? He might be. Hey, junk man, I made it. Joe has made it. Welcome to the chat, Joe. Glad to have you here. I think there is a Power of the Force retro line. I think there will be a Petro. I don't think so. There might be some figures based on. I don't think so, but I could. I heard they're gonna do instead of Return of the Jedi, they're gonna do a best of. But I haven't heard anything lately about that at all. So we'll see. If they're only doing one line a year, they're sure gonna make a long time doing it. But I don't think you're gonna see a Yak face. I don't think you're gonna see a Manda Man. I think you're going to see mainstream figures get released. More Luke and Han and Leia. Stuff the public knows more than just people like us. Give me those He-Man toys, fool. No, you're not getting my He-Man toys. Man, you get, give you my, man, I'm giving you this one. Let me find, I'm giving you this sound clip if I can find it. I'm getting, this was just for you for saying that. You think all Indians are the same? All Latinos the same? All Chinese the same? Well, Indians are the same either. They're not. They're not. That's not the one I meant to give you. It's another Mr. T one. Uh, you think they will do a Return of the Jedi retro in 2023? Um, good question. 2023 being the anniversary. They might do one, I think. I think they'll do something. They probably will. They probably will. Because uh, I heard that this year, if they do more than Mandalorian, it was going to be a more of a best of line. So I can see them doing that in 2003. With the anniversary of Indiana Jones this year for Raiders anniversary and Lucas's Fam anniversary both this year, I was hoping to get at least something Indiana Jones. Maybe a retro line of Indiana Jones figures would have been cool. Hey, Jumpman, is it too late to enter the Death Star contest? Yes, Brian, it is. The contest ended Sunday night. I'm sorry about that if you didn't enter, but I will have a winner this week sometime. Where's the memories? Uh, mem where's the members only link? Thank you. You can go to any of my videos. Look in the description below, and that will link you to Patreon or YouTube, whatever one you deserve. You want to be a member of. We both get the same perks right there. And like today, you got the video, the five o'clock video. You got it at about three o'clock. Oh, we actually got it about four. I would have had it up earlier, but it took a little longer to make than I thought it would. But I did get it up before five, so you did get it early. You got it around four o'clock. Lots more retros coming in the future. Let's hope so. I like the retro line, but I don't know. If they're only, only we've heard about Mandalorian this year, and to do one a year, I don't think, you, uh, has, it doesn't sound like Hasbro has too much confidence in it. Hey, Junk Mo, I read that one. Uh, they could make an Indiana Jones figure with a refrigerator. That would be good with a refrigerator. Accessory. Where's the white women at? That is a question we all ask ourselves every day. Where are the white women at? Yeah, that's what we want to know, was where the white women at. Do you have a scarecrow, the scarecrow from the man? No, I don't have that scarecrow. Who has that? Oh, man, Dorksville Ghost, is that what it says? No, I don't have that one. Didn't know That's one I didn't have as a kid. Didn't know about that until years later. It's a cool figure, though. I wouldn't mind having it. I know they redid it in that new retro-style line. Can't have seen it. I might pick that up if I see it. I would definitely pick up Trap Jaw if I saw it. Well, I'll say definitely, but then I'll see it at the store and see it as $15 and probably put it back. I don't know why those figures are so high. But I've heard action figure prices are going to go up, so be prepared. You heard it here. Well, maybe not here, but you heard it from the junk man. Start looking for a price increase on Black Series figures and other figures throughout the line. <sighs> Hate to say it, action figures are going to go up. You're going to see a price increase pretty soon. Uh, we need episode one, retro one. Yeah, episode one. That, oh, that'd be cool to bring. I would love to see some of the figures and the prequels or maybe some, you know, more figures that we didn't get in there. I wouldn't even mind new movies. Ray, Kylo Ren as a retro style figure. I think it would sell well. I know people's got beef with the new movies, but Kylo Ren in a retro style would be kind of cool. 
Uh, the Hordax is where my favorite band from the 60s. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you win in a fight? But nerd, nerd, erotic, geek, that gamer kid. I don't know, man. They look like, geek, the gamer kid looks like he fight dirty. Me and nerd, erotic, look like we're too old and give out our breath before we even got into a good fight. So who knows, right? Black Series, Rope, Bridge, Indy. That would be very cool. It sounds like something they would come up with. Maybe make your own bridge. I used to make my own rope bridges between the, between the bed and maybe the uh, counter or whatever. What am I thinking of? Chest, chest, chest of drawers. I think Biden figure prices increase. I don't know why, but, uh, you know, the virus is really, I think the virus is really pushing stuff. We're not going to get all into why we think everything's going to go up, not just toys. But I heard that from that toy prices will be going up pretty high. Or pretty much a couple of dollars more. I play cards with JD Shell, man. Okay, you play cards. We don't care. Where are we at? We're at five minutes. We got five more minutes, guys. Five more minutes and then gonna take a break and then come back for the after show. You can find the link. Is that what you were asking me where to find that's what he was asking me, I think. Where to find the link. On Patreon or on the on the if you don't know where the pa- the exclusive link is. It's on the YouTube comments, uh, not comment section, uh, community tab or Patreon. The only members will be able to see the link there. We need a new Indiana Jones toy line. The toys never sell good for Indiana Jones, but they, we do need them. What in the world does your current president have? Oh, okay. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me anything about politics because I don't know. Raw Solo says yes. And he don't see it because it's not posted yet. I have to, I have to make it. I'm going to take a break. So few minutes after this one it will be posted you will see it so uh, make sure you hang in there well i gotta eat but other than that i'm doing pretty good why did that go there why i did not mean to click that here is an ape i know no one sent a super chat for this but i'm just in the mood to play it funny but here's that rainy day <laughs> here's that rainy day they told me about what a great clip right who doesn't like that clip right there that is a great clip it's kenner it's fun says joe prices have to go up to get your checks <laughs> true uh wearing my kenner t-shirt to work tomorrow let me know do you get any feedback let me know if you get any feedback that's pretty good what color did you get i, I had a one that was like a light blue color with kenner on it didn't like it went back and got a bl- black one looks a lot better I think, oh, Raw Solo says he's got it. Yeah, look for the exclusive link soon. What in the world does your... Oh, I read that one already. Let's jump back here and make sure I didn't miss anything. If Phantom Menace means was stolen from an old documentary cost. Phantom, okay. Did not know that. Juan says they sure were. Oh, I read that one too. Did you miss the... Uh, this? Did I miss the giveaway? Yes, she did. If you didn't enter yet, it is gone. William Shackner turns 90 today. I talked about that in a pop culture in the morning. If you hadn't seen it, pop culture in the morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, where we cover pop culture news, not action figure news. We're going to say that for Thursdays tomorrow. I should be back in time to do the 7 o'clock action figure show live stream, 7 o'clock Eastern. And I should have a video up at 5 o'clock like normal. But pop culture will be missed tomorrow. We will not be doing pop culture at 11 o'clock. We're going to move that and we'll be back on Wednesday with pop culture in the morning. But we talked about that. It was great. William Shackner, 90, looks great for 90. Doesn't he look great for 90? Uh, Paul Williams was Virgil for Planet of the Apes. He was Virgil. And Planet of the Apes, Paul Williams was also in Smokey and the Bandit. That he was. Uh, we've got about two more minutes here, guys. So let's just see. Gas prices, the prices, the prices of mini faces have dropped since you mentioned, since you remind the world that he's in, oh, he's imposed by Damien. Hey, wasn't me. It's the two guys sitting at a couch in front of a fake house. Uh, cop, publisher. Y'all are just like putting words and watching me read them. Hey, man. How many waves of Star Wars Retro Collection do you think is going to be? I think we're going to get maybe one a year. I was hoping this year we'd get two a year. And I heard rumors that we were, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. I think we're going to get one a year. In fact, I don't think we might not even get much more of them because a lot of those pop, a lot of those retro show got hit clearance pretty early at Walmart. But Walmart's here. I couldn't see them, but I don't know. Hopefully we'll get them. They need to do more than one a year if they're going to. 
but I don't want them to overdo it either. But I like to see them move on to more some figures we didn't get as a kid. 1997, I sold my collection of Star Wars collection for 280 bucks. Oh man, 136 figures with many of the last 17s. Oh my God, you! I'm not gonna call you an idiot, but man. That is something right there, man. Mm. This this is what it makes me feel like when I hear that. <laughs> that that that's what it makes me do when somebody tells me something like that. But we all been there. I don't know if I heard that bad, but I, we've been there. Hey, Jumpman, greetings from Germany. Love your stream. Thank you, Obi Worm Kenobi. It means a lot here. The original collection here, but. They, uh, the original Jumpman says they need better distribution for their retro collection. They do. Look at the Indi the He-Man stuff. They've got it out pretty good. It took a while to hit, but it did. Han Solo, Stormtrooper, Power of the Force figure. Guys try to tell me it's fake in the 90s. Yeah, don't buy that one in the 90s. But that's it, guys. We're out. We're an hour in. Look, if you're a member, look for the exclusive link coming up in a second. And I think that's it, guys. We are out of here. I think so. This is like my show where I like talk to people who are pretty cool and will like talk about things I think are pretty cool. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's always pretty cool when you're hanging out with the junk man. Don't forget, well, tomorrow we're not going to do pop culture. We will be back hopefully at 7 o'clock tomorrow for the Action Figure Show where we talk action figures and more. And I think that's it, guys. I want to thank you for the chats, the super chats, hanging out, hanging out with me, supporting the channel and all that. Thank you. It means a lot. We will talk again soon.